Well, this is different, isn't it? Stalingrad is still the priority. Don't worry, I'm committing myself to an hour and a half worth of research every single day on Stalingrad, regardless of what happens. But there is a problem with Stalingrad that I don't know how to solve yet, which is the 3D-ness map thing. So basically, I can't do what I did in Rommel or for Evan Emel. Well, nobody can do that. Uh, but the problem is, if I was to apply that to Stalingrad, it would take me years to render out the animations. And I, I, I'm not exaggerating. It would take me years to render out the animation. I can't do what I did in those videos in Stalingrad. It's just not possible. So even before I was commenting back to Igor and stuff, I was actually going to do these videos kind of like the Long Range Desert Group videos are, drop down point of view, uh, with m units moving around the, on the field. That's how I'm going to do it. That's how Stalingrad will be. And I'm going to appear in the video. Yay! Because otherwise that wouldn't be entertaining enough in my opinion. So, in order to do that, I need to, well, convert it to 3D. Because the 2D software can't handle it. Which is fine. You think, well, I, you know, you've done 2D before. You've done 3D before. Surely you can manage to do a 2D thing in 3D, right? Well, not really. Because the issue is, if I was to render out a 12 or 24 hour video or whatever it's going to be on Stalingrad, the issue is that it would take me years, years to render out the animation. I, I it, it's just not, it's just not viable. So I'm going to have to come up with cheaty methods to get around that. Now the the drop down point of view, the bird's eye point of view, will allow me to do that, and I've got ways around it. But the problem is, I've not done those sort of things in a 3D Blender software before. So I need to do a bit of practicing because in theory, if I practice now, when it comes to actually making Stalingrad, I will have come up with the techniques and, the, and overcome the problems that will shave off months of work in theory, or hopefully. Uh, so Stalingrad will be out much quicker, even though there's a slight delay now if I do a different video, but I'm gonna do a different video. So I'm going to do Operation Battle Axe as a Battlestorm video in the next, hopefully, few weeks. Hopefully. Uh, the reason is, the script's already written. In fact, I, I spent about four or five hours yesterday and got it completed. So the script's completely done, and the map is pretty much done. It's like 90% of the way there, because it's the same map as Operation Brevity, which I've already done. So it's just a case of converting a few things, changing things around, and doing it from above. It, it's easy. It's, it's fine. So... I've actually got most of, if not all of, the stuff ready prior to me actually starting to record the video and do the animation. So if I'm doing an hour and a half worth of Stalingrad every day at the very least, in the other spare hours that I have, I could possibly do another video. Oh look, Battle, battle Axe is going to happen. Uh, so it's not going to delay Stalingrad by, if anything, it's going to actually help it. So I may as well do it. I may as well do it. It's not going to delay it. I may as well do it. So, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be trying to hammer out Battle Axe for you guys. Hopefully, I can do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for the patrons, because this will actually be your first video that you'll actually all be in it, because I've decided if anyone donates on Patreon, you guys should be in the credits of the video. So, Battle Axe will be the first time you guys will be in the video credits, which is awesome. So, thank you for you guys. Thanks to everyone else. Bye for now.